evening folks, Jan Sverre here. Um, I want to discuss a little bit more about the electronic lead screw. So on my Super 7 MK1 I mounted the ELS number 2 or the version 2. Uh, and as I've shown before I have then implemented the activation of the stepper motors by individual switches. Uh, in the version 2 of the ELS, which I have also purchased, you have these two buttons here, which are just the same. This deactivates the steppers, so you can use the, the lathe manually. It also implements a little bit more functionality, or I would say user-friendliness. The user interface is changed, so that you have different buttons here and the individual and dedicated buttons. So this is a modification and the improvement on the ELS number two. However, I was lucky enough to be sent the ELS number four, which has now recently been introduced in the market. This comes in two versions, the ELS basic and the pro. This is the pro version. As you can see, it's a, it's a rather bit uh, different um, it has a large color screen and it implements uh, the same basic functionality plus then a number of improvements. One of the improvements is of course in the, inherent with the larger display. Also with more dedicated buttons for different functions and the availability of different in and out ports. Connectivity then means that you can, for example, connect limit switches so that you can shut the motor off. You can also implement an um, emergency stop switch. All this through the use of these input output ports here. And also important, you can then connect a VFD, so that you have a three-phase motor and a VFD directly here, and control this from the user interface, which of course then is a big improvement. If you, for instance, do parting, you can then run a constant surface speed when your diameter on the workpiece is, gets smaller. So um, all in all, I would say a big improvement. And this, this runs in the family, of course, of, of um, previous models. It is then um, uh, adaptable uh, right off, uh, so to speak. So you can just use the same, and I would do that on my MK1. Just use the same um, connectors, same interface here. Uh, I would later then install it on this machine here. The basic version 4 is, I believe, similar to the version 3 here, but with the additional then connectivity like the Pro version 4 with the exemption of the um, motor control. So this one then has uh, of course the same functionality as these two. The two and the three and the four are all the same really when it comes to what was my initial let's say purchase um, or the, the plan be behind this purchase, namely to do away with the, um, with the change gears. So instead of mounting change gears to, of course, to, to get the, the different gearing for the different threads, I run the stepper motor be controlled by, um, by an encoder, which is then reading the, the spindle RPM and then controlling the, um, through the software here, the gear ratios. And uh, as I've shown before, you can do all types of threads. And of course you can set up for all different types of, of auto feeds with just the set, we call this the set axis. However, to enable then it to be a complete uh, cycle controller for let's say threading 
it is preferable to have the x-axis also controlled. So that's why you do with another type of stepper motor then the, um, the x-axis. Um, and I want to mount the EVFD of course through this one so I can have um, a constant surface speed. It has a number of uh, other new functions also which I will get back to. Um, but in reality it's the same basically as these ones. So I'm looking forward to mount this really and then and to try it out. So I just as a trial effort on my MK1 but later on this one. And, um, the others. So here is the ELS number four mounted, just uh, using the same cables as I had for my version two. This uses uh, 24 volts. It comes with a with its own uh, mains adapter. Switching on, you'll see uh, the difference between this black and white display and the color display. So rather more nice to use, of course, and as I said, with the host of new functions, amongst them the control of the um, of the VFD, so that I can have uh, have a constant surface uh, speed and also limit switches on the axis to stop. And uh, it's already using um, the same parameters, so I set it up and it can um, to now run the. Just um, the same way as the as the other one, and uh, running through different cycles, easily done by just um, going mode to mode, phasing, parting, undercut, external thread, in internal thread. And it's different uh, specific adaption of the threading with um, the use of the tailstock. Taper, of course, internal, external, and the radius functions. Making a groove and also grinding and drilling, of course, it's all, all boring. Here also angles. This is useful also, I think. And just for normal turning and uh, I'll go through all these parameters uh, and the setup and, and functionality when I've uh, connected it up properly uh, with the VFD which is uh, and also with switches as I haven't done yet that they also have made a superb uh, manual which uh, comes in English let, uh, language it's a comprehensive guide how to set up why and how it is made and the different functions explained the details making threads parting facing boring turning all there of course this is a cycle controller it's not cnc so that's why we have um, possibility to mount it directly and then retain the use of of the lean screw as is just switch off here so 